Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve, or you can say, we are going to form the quadratic equation for this fourth part. And the question says, a train, a train travels at a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. And we need to find the speed of the train. Question says. There is a distance which is 480 km. First of all, a man, a train travels the distance at uniform speed. It means it is traveling it at any speed. So let that speed be. X km per hour means train is traveling at X km per hour. And it is given that if it had been, uh, if the speed had been itna kilometer, eight kilometer per hour less, then it would have taken three hours more. So the new speed of the train must be eight kilometer less. Means that should be minus x minus eight kilometer per hour. And in the last part, it is given that. Then it would have taken three hours more to cover. Obviously, when the speed gets lower, or you can say when you reduce the speed, time should be more. And in this case, the difference between second time and first time is given as three hours. So when you are you have to travel 480 km with the speed of X kilometer per hour. So obviously your time, the formula for time is basically distance upon speed. We know that. So when you are traveling 480 kilometer with the speed of x, so clearly your time must be 480 upon x. And the second time when you are traveling same distance with the speed of x minus a. Must be this, and we know that the difference between these two times, which is 480 upon x minus 8 minus 480 upon x, is basically 3 hours. So the difference between these two times is 3 hours. Now you can solve it. You can take 480 as common, and we left with 1 upon x minus 8. Minus one upon x, so this is equals to three. Uh, this can be cancelled out sixteen times because when the number are in the numerator, that can be cancelled because these are on the opposite sides of the equal to signs. Now you can further solve it. You have to take the LCM, so the LCM must be x minus a multiplied by x. So x multiplied by one is x. This one multiplied by this should be x minus eight, and this is multiplied with one sixty, and this equals to one. Now we can solve uh, this equation further. We say one sixty, and opening the bracket, this is x minus x plus eight whole upon. This can further be solved. This is multiplied by x will give x square, and this x multiplied by a will give minus eight x. This is equals to one. Now this positive, this negative can be cancelled out, and cross multiplying it, this term must be multiplied by this, so this will remain as it is. But one sixty multiplied by a when multiplied by one will be one sixty. In plus into eight. Now we know that the equation must be x square minus eight x, and this when multiplying and shifted to right hand side will become eight multiplied by zero is zero. Eight multiplied by six is six is a forty-eight carry four. Eight into one eight plus four is twelve with negative sign. This is equals to zero. So this is our required. Equation for this particular question.
थैंक यू